Okay, so you've downloaded Digital Toothy and you want to get it onto Seesaw. I'm going to walk you through how to do that. So in my downloads folder, I have the Digital Phonics Toothy bundle. I'm going to open this bundle and I'm going to go into the Google Classroom files. Even though you're not using Google Classroom, you're still going to go into this one to get the link for Google Slides. Then you're going to click on this Phonics Digital Toothy Links or Math Digital Toothy Links, whichever one you're, you're assigning. This will open a PDF and this has all of the sets included with the links. Okay, and when we go to a set we want, we're going to click on it. I want syllables, so I'm going to click on syllables and it will open up a tab in my browser and prompt me to make a copy of syllables. This is going to make a copy into your personal Google Drive, and that way you can assign it to students and you're not copying or you're not using the same file as all the teachers who have downloaded this, but your own personal copy. So you'll click make a copy and it will take a second and load and create a new copy and save it in your Google Drive. Okay, once that is done, you're going to go into Seesaw. If this pops up, just hit refresh um, and it should work. And if it doesn't, yep, there we go. Typically refresh works. If that doesn't work, then you can go back into here and click on the link again. But typically it should work just fine. Okay, so now I have this in my Google Drive. Now I'll go into Seesaw and make sure you're logged into Seesaw. And then you're going to click Add to activities, and we're going to assign an activity, okay? Now, what you're going to do, you can see I've already assigned this a couple of times just playing around, but you're going to create a new activity right here, and then you'll just type in the title like you normally do, type some instructions like click view as Google Doc, that will make sense in a minute record your answers on a paper as you go, as you play the game. Okay, and we also want to say click present when it opens play. Um, okay, so you have directions, you can type that however you want, and then you're going to go right here to add multimedia instructions or example. So you're going to add that, and then here you're going to upload. So you can see that Google Drive symbol right here. We're going to upload from Google Drive. And then right here, it says add from Google Drive. So you're going to click on that. And it's going to bring up your Google Drive. Okay. And my Google Drive is insanely full. So I'm just going to search for what I want, that copy of syllables that I made. And I see it pop up right here. So I click on it. And then I'm going to select. And then this is going to take a minute to upload, but it will work. So just wait for a minute to upload. When this pops up, just push okay. Um, it's totally fine. It's just saying like the preview is just 20 of, 20 of the slides, but they're not gonna look at just the preview. So that's fine, you just push okay. Then when you get in here, you're just gonna push this green check over in the corner to say, yep, I wanna upload this. And it will spin for another minute uploading this presentation to Seesaw. Okay, so now I have attached that item to my activity ready for my class. I just have a couple more quick steps. Need some elevator music while it uploads. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. So here I have my na activity name, I have the instructions. You can add voice instructions. I love that about Seesaw. Um, and then here is my example. And then I'm just going to click Save. Okay, sorry about that. You know how it is working from home with kids at home. <laughs> All right, so now you have this ready. You're just going to click Assign and choose your class. And then you'll click on um, this one right here, this green one, and then it's assigned. 
So you can see right here. And now I'm going to go look at the activity to show you what it looks like. So I want to show you what it looks like from the students. Okay, so when the student does it, um, you, they'll just click view instructions here. And then they're going to click on this. And then right here, they're going to click view Google Doc. And then it's going to open it up as a Google Slides. Okay, so even though it says Google Doc, it will open it up as a Google Slides. And then they'll be able to hit present. And they'll be able to go through and play Toothy. And they got there using Seesaw. So that's how it works. Um, I hope this helped and good luck.